Hey, Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Okay, we've got some energy that's starting to kick up. We have a new moon in Aries on the 10th. Okay, happy birthday, Pisces, as well. We're in Pisces season. Well, that also means happy birthday to me. Um, so, there's some energy, so I, I wanted to come on and just give you a heads up, okay? So, we have the Hermit. We have the Four of Wands. Sorry, that's not focusing. There we go. And then we have the Five of Swords. This is very clear. If you can stay home or be in an, a safe environment leading up to that day, so the 9th to the 10th, do that. Stay home on the 9th. Okay. Just because there's a lot of unstable energy out there. Um, just an ex as an example, my sister um, was in an Uber and the driver was mentally unstable and she was locked in the back seat of the Uber for 30 minutes. She couldn't get out. He wasn't dangerous but he was talking a million miles a minute and it was all mixed up kind of things. Um, I mean, honestly, I wished I would have been in that car just to hear what he was saying because he was having downloaded messages. Um, he was talking about the 2D, the 5D. So the veil is very thin. Okay, and when, you know, when, um, when the new moon comes, the moon is moving from Pisces into Aries, which is what happens the end of this month, you know, on the 19th, 20th, you know, any of those cuspers out there, it's where Pisces moves into Aries, and that is the end of the zodiac the 12th house going into the first house. So it's a big cycle shift along with the lunar eclipse that we have, the partial lunar eclipse, and the total solar eclipse. So the energies are quite strong. And April 1st, we have a Mercury retrograde. So a lot of things that are buried will start to be pulled up from the depths. We also have Saturn and Pisces. So any lessons that have not been learned, you better learn them. Okay, because if you don't, the universe goes from being a patient teacher to a disciplinarian where your butt's getting kicked. Okay, so let's see what else is out there. All right, and this is not meant to scare anyone. It's just to be cautious. You don't want to be in a situation if you don't need to be. Forewarned is being forearmed. Okay, so stay home if you can. Watch a movie, snuggle with the pets or humans that you love. Watch a favorite movie. You know, cook at home. I wouldn't even order food from anybody cook at home, okay, get things the day before, just have it, drink a lot of water, you know, keep peace in your heart, because when you are operating out of that um, mode, it forces anyone you come in contact to also be like that, but just know, there's going to be people on edge, um, you know how people talk about during full moons, you know, um, police activity, hospital, act hospital activity is heightened. Even though this is a new moon, it is a super new moon. So 
you know, there's, there's going to be stuff. Okay. It's a good time to, to manifest, meditate, plant seeds, you know, exactly. Be at home in the safety of your home to avoid any kind of altercations. Okay. And, um, what's today? The sixth. So sixth today's what? Wednesday. So, what would that be? So, Saturday. So, Saturday night, stay home if you can. Otherwise, just be cautious, okay? I'm not trying to scare anybody. We're just being prudent, cautious. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands here, fire sign energy. We have the Page of Wands. You know, pages are messengers, so a message from a fire sign. High Priestess. Justice. The Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Okay, Pisces, I know a lot of you have been going through a lot. And there has been and will always be some kind of spiritual interference that happens as you ascend. Okay. Again, nothing to be afraid of. You just have to know it's coming. Know that you'll be tested. So, you know, this is the part where you are incredibly resilient and show the universe and the world what you're made of. And also know this, that, you know, whatever you've been through... Justice is here to right all of those wrongs, let's say, to balance out the energy. So know that you'll be able to really rest and be comfortable in this next phase. So this is really positive energy. You've gone through the hard things. However, I am I must say that over this new moon, this energy will try to reach out to you. And this will happen in forms of friends. Okay. It could be unbalanced friends. Let's see what we have here. We have the Emperor. Aries energy. It's also about control, leadership, respect, protection. Mm, but then look, we have the, uh, that queen of pentacles, that's the mother of all this energy, planting lies, trying to manipulate, seduce, no, again, control, so this is coming up, yeah, next four days, Yep, oh my, that's the ace, the sword. So this is all truths. Okay, so knight of wands, the temperance card, that's great. Queen of cups, seven of pentacles, ace of swords. So know that you're protected. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. However it your higher self, be grateful that you are protected and that you know that these things happen, that you get these warning signs because most people don't and they're blindsided and there's upheaval and there's this, um, you know, vortex of energy that just creates more and more drama and pain and, um, you know just all those things it just amplifies it so the fact that you know this ahead of time 333 three, three, you can keep your cool when things happen like oh oh yeah that was going to happen you know if you're expecting it it doesn't come as a shock so it doesn't escalate okay so you know queen of cups keep nurturing yourself 
Keep paying attention to your own emotions. This is about planning for your future. You will see who is in your life and who is not meant to be. You might see people trying to reach out, but that's just a way for them to get into your energy. Wait. Don't respond right away. Okay, make sure you are in a very solid position in your energy so that no matter what someone says or does, they cannot infiltrate into your aura. Okay, because that's how it happens. It's whispers that cause doubt, that cause fear. And they come from people that we care about. They make us second guess. Okay, so yeah. If you don't need to reach out, don't. Wait. Wait until the new moon has reached its, I guess, zenith or pinnacle when it's fully full and it starts to wane. Then you can reach out. But until then, I wouldn't. I would wait. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Action, inspiration, beginnings, energy, new opportunities for growth. And that's exactly what the new moon is. You know, once it's reached its full darkness, that's when you manifest about the future. You know, the things that you want to take action on, not before. Okay. Because the, you know, the soil is not ready There's a lot of preparation that goes into enter, you know, manifestation at the right time. Okay, wow, this is interesting. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So there will be some kind of betrayal, some kind of ending in association with love where you've had to move on from something that's not fulfilling and go out and seek your own fulfillment. What is this Ten of Swords? You know, focus on love. All right. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the, the Hangman and the Seven of Cups. And then we also have the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. So it looks like there's just a lot of options. Something leaving, confusion, and mourning that. Oh yeah, there is an end. This is a cycle. So this could be a friendship that's ending. Let's see. Yeah, there's something you're leaving behind. There is a mourning process. What is this? And even if things we know are meant to leave our lives, we still have to mourn it or them. It's a healthy thing to do. It's the stages of grief. I don't know how many there are, but there's a book on it. And we all go through all of those stages. At different times, different orders, you know, things like that. I don't know what all the steps are, but there's like bargaining, there's anger. But the very last one is acceptance. I think the first one's denial. There's something about you needing to be independent during this phase. You know, so it may just be until you um, introduce this new thing that you're, that you're working on. Wow, yeah, look, really positive energy. 
we have the two of cups, the 10 of cups, the star and the nine of cups. So it's like, you know, being a bit of a lone wolf, keeping things to yourself, because as soon as you communicate it to, to this said friend, this queen of wands, it's going to get messed up and, and it'll happen quickly. So don't communicate with this fire sign until things have been signed, sealed, and delivered. After that, once things are going and things are good, you can talk. But until then, don't you, don't do it. Because yeah, it's not going to it's not going to get to this point if you do. Okay? Yep, they're watching you wondering what you're doing. Yeah, there's going to be this earth sign that's going to give very generously to you. And they may be jealous of that. And they will be judged for it. Yeah, it's like certain friends are judging you for someone that's very wealthy helping you. But of course, why wouldn't they help you? <laughs> You're Pisces. If someone's offering you help or dough, take it. As long as you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, right? Read all the fine print. Um, but yeah, it's like you're going to get everything that you want with the devil and the fool here. You know, just be, be prudent. Be wise about it, King of Swords. You're really brave. You, you know how to take risks, Pisces. Um calculated risks okay so you've been manifesting you've been working really hard you know you you know you've definitely been through it so you're guarded but now's your time okay but yeah you'll move forward really quickly It'll be, it'll seem sudden to everyone else, but you know how much work you've been putting into things. Um, yeah, you've been putting, wow, you've been putting a lot of, lot of effort, you know, for a long time. I would say, you know, six plus years. So you finally get what you deserve. Just don't have it get ruined by telling other people about it. Okay, Pisces. So, great reading. I don't want to overload you with too much. But, um, yeah, just, you know, keep to yourself over the weekend. Um, don't talk to this fire sign friend. And you'll be fine. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You're really strong. You know, forewarned and forearmed. So you'll be just fine. Keep your thoughts positive, too. And then manifest to your heart con heart's content on the 10th, okay? Yeah, oh my God, look at this. Just if you needed any reassurance, there is the sun and the page of cups. So you're, you're just fine. This is just one of those friendly reminders, friendly little warnings, just to be aware. All right, Pisces, I love you. We'll see you soon. Thank you.